We are back, and it is time now. And I wanted to bring him back. I want him in, in uniform coming out of the stadium playing for the Dallas Cowboys today. That's right. We're between the eights with Drew Pearson, and I know he would have had this in his musical repertoire when he was doing what he did. We got to take it back old school. We need a win today against the Arizona Cardinals. So without further ado, we welcome, yes, the original 88 Super Bowl champion, Drew Pearson. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, Drew. Just walking, uh, walking into the stadium right now. Right. Excellent. Well, we need you to suit uh, up, son. Go we... to the locker room. They'll be stretching in a few minutes. <laughs> there there you excellent. Go. That, there you that go. warms our heart. The Arizona... And I come, and I come and throw the ball to you. Because <laughs> you're going to need somebody right now. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Drew Pearson, the Arizona Cardinals, no small task for the – Dallas Cowboys today, uh, almost mirror images, uh, great records, AFC, uh, AFC, NFC um, contenders early on here with seven games under the belt. I, I missed that. Go ahead. One more time. We said uh, both the Arizona Cardinals and the Dallas Cowboys, NFC contenders here after about seven games, uh, almost mirror images of, the, of each other uh, when you talk about NFL teams. Yeah, that's a good point. They are. And uh, the only difference is uh, Arizona has been having success winning football games. You know, they were 10-6 and six last year and couldn't get in the playoff because they're playing in the best conference in the National Football League, the NFC uh, West, uh, where you had San Francisco and Seattle out there. But, uh, yeah, there's, what you see uh, out on the field is pretty much the same. And uh, Arizona, though, right now is playing with a lot of confidence. They just beat Philadelphia. They think they can come in here and take on the Cowboys. They feel like they probably have a good game plan based on what the Washington Redskins did to uh, to beat us uh, in that game and out physical us and couldn't handle the blitz. That's why our quarterback is is hurting right now. So. It's going to be a good football game against two franchises that are trying to make their mark and get back in the playoff action. Drew Pearson, between the eights, what about the turnovers? We got the, the turnovers so costly. If you don't have those, you don't even go into the overtime period uh, last Monday night, and you know you've got another victory. You you it just takes away from the opportunities for you to get any kind of points on the board. Yeah, yeah, and it puts your defense in a bind. You know, when you create turnovers, it usually gives the offense, your opponent, good field position, and, of course, that will put your defense in a bind in tough situations, and we can't afford to do that. Uh, we have to be more protective of the football. We have to go back to the running game. We got away from it a little bit last week uh, through the ball, I think 61% of the plays, and we got to make that more balanced in our attack, and we got to get – better on third down situation so we can move the chains we've been doing great with that until you know monday night against washington we didn't have success there and therefore you know the redskins had a 10 minute edge in time of possession and that gives you know our defense too many reps on the field we want to keep our defense on the field anywhere from 55 to 60 62 reps throughout a football game. We don't want them in the 65 to 70, 80 reps a game because now they're they're more vulnerable uh, to being uh, scored upon. So, you know, that's that's the situation now. And with Romo hurt, you know, there's no question we got to pay attention to that running game and eat up some clock while we do it. Absolutely. We are between the eights <laughs> with Drew Pearson. Drew, what about the – uh, resurgence of a guy like Larry Fitzgerald. Seems like he's starting to get back to his right. old self. Arizona, Arizona teams, period. Yeah, you know, guys, I don't even think it's a resurgence of Larry Fitzgerald. I think they finally got a quarterback that can get the ball to him. You know, Larry Fitzgerald, you know he's going to be one of the uh, best conditioned, best prepared athletes in the National Football League. That's just his nature and uh, his personality. Uh, so now they got somebody that can get the ball to them. They're working plays. They're being more creative and taking advantage of his skills and the things that he does well. Yeah, he's going to be a tough matchup for us. But, you know, their whole offense, uh, I think we can stop their running game. They're only averaging their lead back on the average is about 3.6 uh, per carry. Uh, but that passing game uh, today with their receivers, big play receivers, uh, it kind of scares me a little bit. 
Drew, this is Jeff Blake. I'm just still looking at um, the Cowboys. Where you been, Blake? Uh, hey. off, man. You know, <laughs> I, I, I work, man. Hey, man, I have kids, man. I don't know where you been. I have kids, man. You know, my daughter plays volleyball. So, actually, uh, two weeks in a row, they, she came to Houston. And they had uh, played at University of Houston one weekend, and they played at SMU uh, another weekend. So, and okay. she only gets – I only get to see her like three times a year. So, All when right, she we'll gets the try. time – yeah, see, sure. there you go. There you go. See, <laughs> see, he let me off the hook this time. Put it in writing and get it notarized. <laughs> That's the best way well, 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 what? Bring your note and get it notarized. <laughs> okay, we'll do. What about those Cowboys defense? You know, how do how do how do you think they're going to be able to stop you know, that um, uh, Arizona's offense? You know, they're, they're six and one, so they're up on the rise, and um, they play a tough division. So they're coming in, you know, knowing that Roman was hurt, and uh, they haven't have opportunity to come in and get this game. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Tough pass for the defense, no doubt. You got to put some pressure on the quarterback and get some quarterback sacks, and uh, hopefully we can do that. Which is very low this year. Very low, but actually both teams are low going into this game. Uh, but I think uh, Arizona is a little better than the Cowboys as far as getting to the quarterback. But you know that's going to be a key, taking something away, taking the running game away, and putting the game in the hands of Carson Palmer, and and then getting after him. And uh, we're going to have to take some chances uh, with our pass rush, maybe blitz a little, and that'll put the secondary in a tough position. And the thing that they got to prevent is big plays. We don't want chunk plays, you know, 20 yards or more. Uh, if they're grinding it out, that's one thing. But when they get those big plays, you know, that could be a problem for the Cowboy defense. So it's going to be a tough task for the defense, no doubt. But, hey. You know, this is where we are. This is the second half of the season. And teams got to – everybody knows each other a lot better at this point, more film to study. And uh, preparation is a, a little more intense. Uh, so uh, we got to meet that level of what Arizona is going to bring today, offensively and defensively. The score. What's the score for today's game, Drew Pearson, as you walk into AT&T Stadium? Yeah, I'm walking in. I got all security. Look at that. I got entourage of security <laughs> escorting me. You might think I am somebody around here. <laughs> your uh, name is up. Your name is up on that stadium, man. I took a picture uh, well, of let it. Let me go check and see if it's still there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I came and took it down last first. night. Hey, man, we yeah. represent you. you. We represent you if something changes. We got it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, guys, Cowboys going to win this game 27-17. to 17. I right. love it. That that's Let's go, boys. Absolutely. Listen, have a great day. We know that you are going to be action-packed today up at uh, AT&T Stadium. Go Where up. can people listen to you, Drew, if they want to catch you uh, a little bit later and throughout the day? Well, I'll be uh, on the fan, the Cowboy Radio, uh, official radio station, 105.3 The Fan up here, and later tonight on Channel 5, NBC 5 with Newey Scrubs. Uh, wrapping up the game and hopefully talking about a Cowboy victory. Excellent. Tell Newey, please, I said hello. I'll get him, I'll get him on Twitter as well. So thank you for your uh, time today between the eights with Drew Pearson. Not only is he going to be in the ring of honor, we're going to get you in the Hall of Fame, man. We all going to block for you. going to wedge block for you, Drew Pearson, and you going right into the wow. Hall of Fame. Welcome back, Jeff Blake. Uh, thanks a lot, Drew. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Talk all right. to you later. Okay. Have a great day. Yes, that's our guy, man. He, how is that guy not in the Hall of Fame? I mean, I that's it. I mean, like I said, every time they show an old Cowboys highlight, it's him. It's him. Him, it's Roger Staubach, and Tony Dorsett. That's it. That's it. And, and you'll see Tutal every once in a while. Other than that, that's it. Or oh, Randy White. The master, yeah. Yeah, he, he, yeah they show him too. But there's no way, uh, if, if there's any right in the world, he needs to be in. The Hall of Fame. I mean, I, yeah, eh. I agree. I mean, you know, growing up, you know, watching the, guy got the Cowboys. A play named I mean, after. come on. This is, I know. This is ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's been way too long for it's, him. It's ludicrous. It, it is. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's way too long for him. Way too long. And they had the, the radio going, Michael Crabtree get in before him. <laughs> 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 Which is definitely ludicrous. <laughs> the radio's going. I mean, but come on, man. Uh, I mean,. Everybody knows who this guy is. He's a Super Bowl champion. Yes. He's a d player of the decade in the 70s. He, you, you couldn't top him. If you're a decade it, player, you should have been that, that's just, you should have been the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you're a decade player. A decade player, 70s, 80s, 90s, you should be in the Hall of Fame. Because the average guy only played in the league, what, a year and a half, two seasons? Back then. Yeah. Yeah. It's three to four now. Right. But still, he done tripled that? 
Yeah. Average. Yeah. Super Bowl, he was he's the perennial guy. Yeah, he was he was my main receiver on my on my electric football game. Football game. game. <laughs> <laughs> Even you though know? I had to take the little rubber the little the little foam ball right. and, and stick it in there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you had to hit him. So so when you did so our rule was if you're gonna throw the pass in electric football, you you your the ball has to be let go before you you cross your quarterback wherever you turn the game off to, to to hit him for the pass. Yeah, and if you bought the electric football game, they only had two teams. Yeah, Cowboys, Cowboys and the Steelers. Steelers. And Steelers and Red, yeah. I think they had one with the Redskins and. But most of them was Cowboys was and Steelers. Steelers. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And you so had to order the other teams. Yeah, but it came with I think yeah, the Cowboys sta- and stand- Steelers. Standard. 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 Yeah. 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 standard. So at some point you had to be a Steelers or, or Cowboys. Cowboys you, so you had that one. You know what? I, I just got. A, I got a new one. I got one. The I got electric football. One. Yeah, they still make those. But I didn't. I didn't open it, man. It's still in the box. It, it's as it's as clean. I don't even know what two teams are in the box, but I have one, brand new. It, that that you've had for a long time. No, or no, you no. Just I got just, just got about like oh. three years ago. Oh, so okay. three, four years ago. And I just I won't open it. If you can find one that was back yeah, in the seventies, and you know, if you can find one original back in the seventies, well, you might have some money on your hands. Yeah, yeah. Tudor Tudor Sports T U D O R Sports was the guys that that. Uh, I made those. You used to get those for Christmas. Yeah. yeah yep. Man. Hey, that's, I, when, my dad that's when Christmas my dad was loves simple. to tell this yeah. story, but i never forget. I think I was about, oh, maybe seven, eight years old. Uh, let's see. My brother was five, so that put me at about nine. I was maybe nine. My brother was five, and my dad, we get up Christmas morning, and guess what's under the tree? The electronic football? No. What? Two Dallas Cowboy uniforms. With, you remember the old helmet with the little foam in it? Yeah. <laughs> The, and the little cheap little shoulder pads. Yeah. Man, me and my brother threw them things on over our pajamas in the backyard Christmas morning <laughs> out Man. there getting it. <laughs> Dallas you need, Cowboys. You needed to have that Dallas Cowboy jacket from Sears with the patch on the left. Oh, no, man. I was, with the, with the, that was the, big the, time. The, the arms. That yeah. Was big time. Oh, that was too much? That's big time, dog. Oh, I must have been living like the hustle bus. <laughs> yeah, you was, a, yeah, you, was yeah. Like, you was a You was the only child. Right. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, you was the only <laughs> child. child. Yeah, yeah, so you it. got a like, little, little more, more perks than Kids that had, you know, three or four uh, in the family. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. yeah. You, you was, you it was, was good and bad about that. Yeah. I it, had to wait till y'all got up and open y'all all presents to hey, hang out. You couldn't y'all. blame nothing on nobody. It was just you. <laughs> yeah. That's probably another reason why I got towed up <laughs> yeah, from the like, floor. I didn't do it. Well, who else no, would have done it? it? Yeah, you, you, you get hit for just telling us that. Yeah, yeah. Like, no better. All right, listen. We're going to take a sidebar. Come back with Jay Foreman, our Houston, Texas insider, right here on Land Down the Line. 